don't always get what you want from a partner, but that doesn't stop us from trying. And some people will try every trick in the book to get their partner to agree with what they want. Harmless games or dangerous manipulations. Where does one draw the line? Hello, I'm Rajat Kapoor and today on The Lounge we are talking about the games men and women play when in a relationship. Let's get started with my first guest, Surain, who seems to know the rules of the game quite well. Hi, my name is Surain Sundaram. Uh, I'm a radio jock with a popular radio station here in Mumbai. Um, I think it's very important for uh, the games to be there in any relationship because it keeps the relationship alive, uh, keeps you on your toes. But yeah, I think women play more games compared to the men. Uh, women can't help it. Hi, Surin. Hello, Raja. Welcome to the show. Thank you. So, uh, what kind of games do women play? Uh, I think the word women is synonymous with games. Oh, really? I, I think so. And uh, I'm also of the view that women were never born young. They were born 3,000 years old. Okay. So, I think women never stop playing games. Really? Yeah, I don't think so. What kind of games are these? Uh, like, when you are in the chase, they play, they play hard to get. You know, they won't take your calls. If you want to take them out on a date, they would probably say no in the first, and then they'll be like... Even when they're interested? Even when they're interested. They, they show uh, signs which mean that, you know, I am a little bit interested, but pursue me more. Okay. <laughs> Some sort of that. And then even after you're dating, I mean, whether you're in a relationship for a year, I don't think the games end. Really? Yeah. With me, it didn't. Okay. Because, you know, calling is an issue. Who calls first in the day? But why do they play these games, uh, these women that you have been with, for sure? Uh, I think it's more to do with the fact that it makes the relationship a challenge. Okay. You know, and um, also the fact that uh, women generally like to keep the men on their toes. So that's the reason to, to have the upper hand? More than it being a power game, I think it is about uh, understanding who will call the shots in the relationship, but also making sure that the other person does not feel left out, that he doesn't feel that he's not allowed to call the shots. They'll, they'll give the whole ball game to you. Okay. But then they want you to make the decisions according to them. So women are devious, you're saying, uh, more or less? Manipulative? Manipulative is the right word. Sorry? Manipulative is the manipulative. right word. Manipulative. Right. Yeah. So when does it get too manipulative? Does, it, does that happen? It, is there yes. a limit to these games? After a point of time, it does get a little uh, overboard. Yeah. You know, then you start feeling that uh, even after spending so much time, it's still a game. You know, you, you never know when you can be yourself. You know, in a I relationship. I know what kind of a relationship it is if you can't be yourself. That's, that's the whole point. But then you can talk about everything that you feel like, but then you have to see that, you know, uh, I hope I'm saying the right things. When that kind of a phase enters your relationship, then I think there's no point of being in a relationship. That's what happened with me. Right. I think after a point of time, I just started hating the games, you know. Yeah. yeah How long were you in a relationship that time? Two and a half years. Two years. Two, two and a half years. Two, two and a half years. Yeah. And, and the games were still on. Yeah. And... I got dumped. I'm being very honest. Mm -hmm. I got dumped for <laughs> being myself. We spoke to a relationship guru, Dr. Love, and we asked him who he thinks is the more conniving gender. Yeah, I don't think uh, we can compare that way, men or women, because it's a segment. But unfortunately, uh, men, uh, the segment is more than men. Normally, women, uh, they are into emotional segment of what I have seen or I have experienced. Uh, they'll cry on the phone or they will stop answering calls. And uh, it's, it's, it's a soft call, whereas in uh, men, uh, we see it more. They are harsh. They, they do things intentionally and uh, to prove their point, they are on a louder segment. Uh -huh. So do you think men are manipulative also? You know what? Uh, now Dr. I'm, Love thinks so. Dr. Love, Dr. Thinks Love so. I think to a point is right, but I think the best way to play games with women is to think like a woman. Give me an example. Uh, like, play, when, when I say playing hard to get, right? Uh, women like it when you go up to them, when you try and speak to them, and that's where their whole... Uh, they become, you know, they become in control of the situation. They think that, oh, okay, you know, he's trying to come, come to me, he's trying to ask me out. Right. It's okay. The moment you go up to her and you try to ask her number, if she responds in a no, then I think it's best, it's best to walk away and say, you know what, it's okay. 